everyone, I'm Rose and I'm from Minerva. Today's video is a perfect pattern of fabric pairing and the focus on today's uh, video will be menswear. So we have a range of fabrics here and don't forget that you can find all the links to the fabrics and the patterns in the description box below. Any comments or questions you have, please feel free to ask them in the comment section and we will get back to you. So without further ado, let's get started with the first fabric. pattern and fabric pairing is a double fabric choice. The first fabric we have here is the Lady McElroy Pure Wool Foot Coating Fabric in Antique Gold. It's a fabulous fabric and extremely soft for a wool fabric. Nothing like what people tend to think wool is like as in a scratchy harsh material. This is fine twill weave fabric. It's got blue and red stripes throughout the, um, throughout the material, uh, giving it a check look. It's a non-stretch fabric and I would use this for the Burner 6350 pattern. This is the men's trouser pattern in two styles. Style B is a plain full length trouser pattern and style A is a shorter style uh, trouser with a side stripe. But both do have the option as well to have a turn up at the bottom. In trouser styles, this is a more casual design to sew. It's an intermediate pattern, so perfect for sewers who want to up their game or to take a leap into menswear. So to make a statement pair of trousers, choose this fabric and this pattern pairing. This is the back of the pattern for the Burda 6350 and as you can see it does come in a nice range of sizes and you will need different fabric lengths for those sizes. The notions include interfacing, buttons, a 14 centimetre long uh, zip, bias binding or ribbon for the stripe on style A and a hook and bar fastener. The bias binding or the ribbon on for style A, you could use in a matching colour of this Lady McElroy fabric. Uh, you could pick up the blues or the reds in the stripe. This is a wool fabric, so don't forget it will need to be washed on a cool wash to avoid shrinkage. fabric for this pattern is a plain wool crepe fabric made from 100% wool. This fabric does have drape which makes it comfortable uh, to wear and in the same pattern will make a trouser suitable for any occasion. Here we have a washed cotton denim fabric in dark blue. This is your typical light denim fabric and it's a good staple to have in any fabric collection as it's an extremely versatile material. It's made from 100% cotton and is non-stretch. The washed effect gives it this slightly faded or worn in look which is great for great look for casual wear. Today it's paired with the McCall 6044 shirt pattern. Um, casual, smart casual, uh, formal, this is an amazing base pattern to have in any collection. It's one of those patterns that you can make time and time again in different fabrics for different occasions. So for this casual style, this denim fabric would work amazing in this pattern. You could also think about jazzing up with a little bit of top stitching or a contrast in fabric for say the pockets. This illustration shows the front and the back of the different styles of this pattern. All of these patterns do have pockets, doesn't mean you need to put them on if you don't want to. But styles D and E does have the pockets with the little flap and the buttons on top. Style E also has this yoked area on the top of the shoulders, which if you wanted to, you could do in a contrast in fabric. Style A is short sleeves, style B and C are long sleeves. 
this is the back of the pattern for the M6044 pattern and as you can see it does come in a nice range of sizes. You will need fusible interfacing and don't forget that you will also need the buttons and the quantities of the pet buttons depend on whichever style you are doing. The suggested fabrics of this pattern include a lightweight fabric such as the cottons, cotton blends, silk rayon, wash silk and the denim that we do have here. Top stitching gives a nice subtle element to any garment and if you're wanting to up the quality of your work, uh, top stitching your seams is a very easy option to do. Now because this is a lightweight denim fabric, um, it does have a little bit of drape to it. It's very soft to the touch and you know, whereas a, a stronger denim for say jeans um, would be quite sturdy, this, this, is, a, this is a lot more sort of uh, delicate in, in texture. We're sticking with the casual seam here with this pattern by Burda and it's a 6351 men's zip up jacket. Now style B of this pattern has a knitted band element for the neck and the cuff bands. And for this pattern I'd use the brushed stretch Garbadine a twilled fabric. It really is a great match. It's made from 62% polyester, 32% viscose and 6% elastine and has a 10% stretch along the width. As you can see there it's got a nice amount of give there. It's a sturdy fabric and makes a great choice for any jacket and with a simple lining this is a nice summer jacket. But you could also add a fleece or a thicker lining for say a warmer jacket for the winter months. The back of the pattern for the Burda 6351 shows you different things you will need to make this pattern and they include interface and zips, elastic and poppers. And don't forget for style A you will also need a rib knit band. casual to smart and formal let's move on to a classic suit pattern and that pattern is the Vogue 8988. It is both a suit jacket and a trouser pattern and the jacket comes in both a single breast and a double breasted style. It goes without saying that this is a challenging pattern and it does take a bit of effort and trial and error to get right especially if you're unfamiliar with, with tailoring garments. However once you do get it right you will be making the most stunning suits And the back of this pattern for the Vogue V8988 does give you a brief description of what this pattern entails. For example, it has things like shoulder pads, collars, it has vents in the sleeve and in the back and welted pockets inside and out. You'll need fusible knit interfacing and the quantities you can see on the back of this pattern. You'll also need lining for the sleeves, shoulder pads, buttons and a zipper. You can find all this on the Minerva website. The Superfine Wool Fabric is a luxury quality fabric. It's made from 100% wool and I have it here in black. It's super fine appearance you can see in this close up here and you, because you don't really see the weave of the fabric. It's non-stretch and it's a very stable heavy material. Remember when you're washing all wools they will need to be washed on a cool wash to avoid shrinkage. Don't forget you can join the Minerva Craft Club and when you do you get a 10% discount upon signing up. And if you create a free account with us we'll also send you a discount code to use on your next order. When you do sign up with Minerva please do get involved with the community. We love to see all of your creations and you can also follow other sewers and see what they're up to as well. Any questions please feel free to mention them in the comments section below and we will get back to you and all the products mentioned in this video will be tagged in the description below. You can also follow Minerva for more videos and you'll find the follow button is just above this video.
whatever fabric you buy do allow for a 10% shrinkage when you do get your fabric don't forget to pre-wash it all this is just to allow for that shrinkage uh, before you cut out your pattern pieces We actually have another denim fabric here, and this is the Lady McElroy modal stretch fabric made from a cotton modal and spandex mix. It does have a stretch width of 10%, so it's not uh, a strong stretch, but it's just enough, enough to give a little bit of a give. The pattern on this fabric is these lighter coloured spots um, that really do look like bubbles. And uh, I have it here in the dark, in the dark navy blue. By Thread Theory is a capsule wardrobe staple garment. Its pattern comes with two variations, one's a long sleeve with a placket opening and the other is just a short sleeve top. The back of the pattern handy has different options for different skill levels and so this fabric comes under the easier sew skill level. If anything it's a good place to start for any sewing levels from you know whether you're a complete novice or if you're a more experienced sewer, starting with a fabric that, you're, that you are comfortable with uh, is never a bad option. You can get the feel of the pattern first and know what is going to be the tricky elements, uh, what might need a bit, of, a bit of practice before you venture onto a more challenging fabric. The Henley top does come in sizes from extra small to extra large. So this fabric that we have is a woven fabric but it does have a slight bit of stretch to it so the back of this pattern does use, I just say use uh, knits but this fabric will work extremely well especially for beginners who say haven't used a knit fabric before. Variation A does have a placket, so perhaps back this fabric with um, a medium weight interface and just to give it some stability and take out that stretch a little. You'll also need fusible interfacing and buttons, or if you would rather use snaps, you could use snaps instead of the buttons. Variation 2 is your more simple t-shirt style, it's short sleeved, and like I said, because this fabric does have a slight amount of stretch to it, it will make it easier to sew. A bit different from our other patterns, here we have the Vogue 8869. As you can see, it's a hat pattern with five different styles and each is available in four different sizes. This fabric we have here is a tweed wool coating fabric and it's made from 50% polyester and 50% wool. It's a more lightweight material, so it does have quite a bit of drape to it. So for the, for the hat patterns, you will need to use those lining, the interface and the hair canvas to keep the structure of those hats. Here we have the different styles of hats and you can see that A and B are like a flat cap style and B has that contrast and side panel. D and E are these brimmed hats and C is like a bucket style hat. As this is a grey fabric you could line the hat with a bright colour or a pattern fabric for you know a nice splash of luxury on the inside. Or for style B you could put a contrasting coloured uh, fabric on the side panels. This is a hat pattern, so you will need a few extra things to create these pieces, uh, such as the sewing interface in the hair canvas and also the plastic canvas for, the, for their peaks. But make sure that you give the back of the pattern a very good read before you start so that you know you have the right quantities for any of the hat styles that you make. Whilst hat style B has a contrast in side panel, hat style C, D have contrast in bands. So you will need a contrast in fabric if those are the styles you'd like to do. Now you can make this, uh, these hats in you know, a range of fabrics like, you know, like this wool that we have here but you can also make it in say a synthetic leather, ripstop, suede or poplin. You'll need a lining for all these fabrics and like I said choose a very different bright patterned lining you know, just to add a little bit of a uh, contrast there. You'll need sewing interfacing for all of these uh, patterns and for C, D and E you'll need hair canvas and for A and B you'll need buckram or a plastic canvas. For a luxurious coating or suiting fabric look no further than this cashmere blend fabric. It's made from 65% wool, 20% cashmere and 15% nylon. Now this fabric is soft and I mean soft, teddy bear soft and cosy. It's beautifully plush and I really can't ju ex express just how soft this material is.
use this fabric for the Simplicity 8962, which is a modern jacket with uh, curved lines and pockets. Now this is a line jacket and for the lining I would suggest using this fabric, which is the Woven Jacquard lining fabric. Linings don't have to be boring, they don't have to be one colour and they can be as fancy and as extravagant as you like. So using a satin jacquard uh, lining like this will ensure an easy slip on jacket as well as adding a splash of pattern to the inside of your garment. Here we have the back of the pattern for the Simplicity S8962 fabric. Uh, this is the blazer jacket. The fabric suggestions does come with uh, corduroy, denim, linen types, twill, velvet and wool types. And if you are choosing a fabric that is different from this cashmere that has either stripes or one-way designs, you will need extra fabric to match those, uh, match those designs. You'll also need thread, two 7 8 of an inch buttons, 6 5 8 of an inch buttons and one pair of shoulder pads. This does come in quite a wide range of sizes as you can see and it's also different neckband and shirt sleeve sizes. You'll also need interfacing of a medium weight um, which is like a fusible interfacing as well and you'll also need a trim of some ribbon. Finally, we have this jersey stretch knit fabric in this lovely chocolate mocha colour. It's made from 94% tensile and 6% elastane. It has a stretch width of 65% and a stretch length of 30%. So as you can see, it really does have a nice big amount of stretch to it. However, the feel of this fabric is really light. It's your typical t-shirt style fabric and it has a beautiful amount of drape to it. So for this fabric, we will pair this with a comfortable and loose fitting pattern, such as a new look 6404 loungewear set. This is actually a, a his and her pattern, and uh, the styles of this pattern include a long t-shirt, short sleeve and long sheave, sleeve shirt, uh, drawstring trousers and drawstring shorts. It's an easy pattern, and it's a good instruction um, for anyone starting out with jersey fabrics or knit fabrics because they are so much different to sew with than say a woven fabric. You will need to make sure that you do have your uh, jersey needles or your ballpoint needles if you're using a sewing machine. If you're using an overlocker, obviously you know this that will finish your seams for you. Um, there is a great range of colours in this material so be sure to check them all out on the Minerva website. You can see here on this illustration the different styles um, in this pattern um, from A to B which is both a uh, top pattern from short sleeve to long sleeve, C which is the trousers and D which is the shorts and E which is like the long t-shirt style. This his and hers pattern makes it extremely comfortable for anybody to wear especially in this fabric as it is really quite silky and soft. Style A and B um, does have a contrast in sleeves and neck band, so if you wanted to get this fabric in a different colour then that would totally work. So the suggested fabrics for A, B and E is for stretch knits only and that's like we've got with this here. Style C and D um, you, could, you could make in a cotton or a cotton blend, uh, like a, a flannel or a gingham or a laundry cotton. And if you are doing that you will need extra fabric for matching stripes or designs. You'll also need thread and uh, twill tape for the drawstrings of C and D and also wide elastic for those two as well. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the patterns and fabric recommendations. If you do give any of them a try, please do share them on the Minerva website as we'd love to see them. Any questions you have, please do put them in the comments section and you will find the links to all the patterns and the fabrics in the description box below. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time.